Hi, my name is Talisha Watson and I'm from Tennant Creek. Hi, my name is Dorian Grant and I'm from Tennant Creek. Welcome back to TAM4 2020. We hope you enjoyed your break. Last time our NTCT students had the opportunity to visit Saltbush, which is a community organization that helps us stay in school and then move into the workplace. Hello, I'm Karen Sheldon. Um, this is Nicole Shackclub. Nicole and I are directors of Saltbush Social Enterprises. So my name is Gloria and I work for a program called Transition to Work. Help people develop skills like employability skills, maybe getting more confidence eh? or maybe uh, some people may need to do additional numeracy literacy skills. But what you want to do with your life and the vision that you have for yourself, isn't it exciting? We had the opportunity to ask some questions about their roles and services they offer. We took the chances to share what we wanted to do after finishing school. From being a shopkeeper, youth worker, to a minor or nurse in the Navy, the Saltbush team were able to help us understand a bit more about ways we can pursue our dream jobs. And what we try and do within our programs through our employment services program is build up their confidence and self-esteem and help any young person achieve their goals by employment. Okay, um, a little bit about where I come from first. I was a stolen child, all right, from Ipswich, Queensland. I was taken away from day one. So to where I am today is a real big journey. I'm 66 years of age now, you know, and I've been through a lot of journeys. I was going to retire. I retired in Catherine. And I thought, what am I going to do now? I'm going to live, live till I'm 75, all right? So I decided to get a job. So I come down here to work down here. So you're going to go through struggles in your life. I've probably had about 50 jobs, but I've got all that experience. So there's opportunities here. They're all good opportunities that you want to have, goals that you want to achieve in life. What do you guys think social work means? What does it mean to be in the social services? Well, the point of what we do is to boost people up, give them better opportunities, help them find pathways that they might not be able to get on their own. Um, we're not here to do it for people, that's what needs to be said, but we're here to help you get there, push you up, hold you up. What, do you, what kind of skills do you think you need to become a nurse? Like, what do you think you need to do? To get into a job and know the fulfilment and the great feeling you get when you get up in the morning and you're actually excited about going to work. Is we go and see our kids. We've got five at the moment that we have to see. Uh, they live in various places around town. And our job is to make sure that they're engaged in school. So we want them getting up on time, going to school, while they're at school doing the right thing. Um, just sort of keeping them there. So you guys are lucky in that every class at Urara has got the LSO, you guys have got the boarding house and all the people there to keep you going. You know, Miss Robin, Auntie Robin there to keep you on track. So what we do is we're there to support the kids out there that don't have that. How can they get a job as a youth worker? As a youth worker? So probably the most important thing to getting into a youth work job be getting your ochre cut. I don't know of a single job in youth work that you can get without an ochre cut. So where's mine? Ochre card is. Oh, it's really bad. <laughs> so ochre card is one of these. Turn around. Turn around. And so what it is? It's a clearance to work with kids. Basically, when you get your ochre card, they look at your history. And they're just making sure that you've got you're safe to be around kids. We would like to thank. Um, Yarrara College for bringing their students into our office and we look forward to seeing each and every one of them again very very soon. Last term we enjoyed another great colour smashed afternoon. For our icebreaker activity we are going to go over to the ladies soccer field and we're going to be playing capture the flag. Fleming's going to win today!
<laughs> December 1972, Jawara College's first principal, David Otling Smee, was given the job to set up a brand new Aboriginal boarding school. Mr. Otling Smee visited us and entertained staff with the stories of how things were back then. Newness in the air, which had never been and never happened before. Trucks galore, meetings galore, people in Alice Springs galore, which of course is an everyday thing now, but in Alice Springs is very much a white town in those days. Another thing of those early years was um, uh, a lot of politics, a hell of a lot of politics. There was um, a lot of people felt that Yarrara should not exist and wanted to close it down. And a lot of people um, criticised, there was criticism galore, not because we were doing anything bad at the time, but just because we were here. Senate review committees lasting six months, and they were very, very, very hard work because we had to justify ourselves. Um, not just you know, the other, you know, we started with. Um, in 1969, there was Camilla College started in Darwin, and that um, folded last year in the sense of it being a, what it was, um, and you probably know that. And then Dupham College started in Milan in 1971, and that closed 20 years later. And so you're the only one standing, and I'm delighted about that. I really am. It's good news. But we put a lot of energy into um, VIPs. A, we had to, but B, we wanted to. There's the swimming pool being made. Oh, yes, well, actually, I remember. Yes, we, we, because the, it was like that in the first year. 1973. 73 and 74. Yeah, it was, yeah, it took a long time. I think it was a couple of years. But we were the fulcrum of Central Australia, all the bush schools, and so, so are you. Um, but we had the desert school of swimming sports. Oh, it's fascinating. You know, we had the bush schools, music festival. These being things that went on for three days or four days. And so the people camping all, all over the place. Oh, well. Wonderful. I'm enjoying this. Thanks for joining us. Next week we look forward to telling you about Clontarf's Red Centre Cup games played in town. Be sure to like and share our stories on our Facebook, YouTube and Instagram pages. Bye!